It's Friday, October 26th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. My friend Rick on Facebook says, I was wondering what your thoughts are on prophetic dreams. I've had very odd and frightening dreams about a large full moon for the last two years, and I believe it has something to do with Hurricane Sandy. The meteorologists are saying that because of the upcoming fall moon, or full moon, excuse me, the tides of this hurricane could be devastating to the East Coast. What do you think? Rick, I never discount the fact that God speaks through dreams, because he has with me. I think the danger is that we feel like all of our dreams need to be prophetic in some way, and they're not. Sometimes dreams are just dreams. Sometimes, psychologically, dreams are our way of blowing off a little steam at night so we can be sane during the day, and that's what a lot of psychologists believe. But there are times when I believe God does speak through dreams. Now, let me preface this by saying that You know, every time I I think I've figured out how God speaks, he does something different. (laughs) And I've read books, I've listened to lectures, I've, you know, I've researched this, this whole thing about how does God speak and, you know, how do you know if it's him or not and all of those things. And I just have to say that I think God can speak any way he wants. And dreams are definitely one of those ways that he does speak. Now, it's really important, folks, that we have uh, uh, the Holy Spirit inside of us. And if you're a Christian today, you do. And you realize that, again, the Holy Spirit is the deepest part of you. The Bible says in John 7 that he, that he operates from within, like living waters flowing from our innermost being, He's deeper than our thoughts, deeper than all of our capacities. And when he begins to speak, when he begins to show us things, we recognize him. How? Because he bears fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. And your dream will feel some of those things. Now, having said that, there are some exceptions too. What about dreams that are warnings? What about dreams that have to do with, you know, coming destruction like this one? Well, Rick, I I would kind of question why God would show you this dream unless you have something to do with evacuation or whatever, but then you never know what he's going to do. And then there are people that would say, well, God would never show you anything bad. He would only show you something that's encouraging. That hasn't always been true with me. Let me tell you about my very first, what I believe was, prophetic dream. I believe I was about 14 years old. And I had this dream that my little sister, who was maybe two years old at the time, or less, um, I had this, this dream that she fell off a cliff and fell all the way down the cliff. And I woke up and it really bothered me. It was very vivid. And I ran to her room to make, she, to make sure she was okay and she was fine. And I think I visited her room two or three more times that night to make sure she was okay. It really bothered me. And the next day I just had this uncomfortable feeling. I didn't tell anybody about it. It just was weird. Well, a couple of weeks later, our family was uh, in Yellowstone Park, and I grew up not far from Yellowstone Park, and we went there uh, often. And uh, we were standing at a place that we never really had gone to before when we used to visit, uh, a place called the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. And my little sister was very hyper, And we used to use a harness on her. Do you know what that is? It's kind of like a leash for a dog. I shouldn't say that because we didn't treat her like a dog, but she was hard to hold on to. So they had this harness around her with with kind of like a leash and so that she could be down and walking and everything, but she wouldn't run off and she was a little easier to handle. And uh, 
And so we were standing there looking over this cliff, looking at the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Beautiful, beautiful sight. And all of a sudden I realized this is what I had seen in my dream. And I grabbed my sister and I threw her back from the edge just immediately. And of course she cried and everybody looked at me a little strange. And, uh, and after she finished crying, I remember my dad put her down and we were walking back to the car and he had the leash and it broke. And I've never forgotten that. Neither has my little sister. You know, that was, uh, that was an amazing uh, way for God to provide uh, a warning. And I still believe to this day that it saved her life. Well, I've had some of those kinds of dreams since. I've had some that have been uh, very encouraging. I've had some that have, that have been like that, kind of uh, almost warning of something that's going to happen, but with something specific in a way that I can do something about it. And uh, not every dream that I have is prophetic. Uh, not, every, uh, not every dream that I think is prophetic actually is. And I love the way that God speaks to me much, much more when I'm awake than when I'm asleep. But I've learned to never discount the power of dreams. Now, I'm not an expert, Rick. All I can tell you is wait and see what happens. And if God's giving you something specific to do in your dreams, do it. But, uh, but always make sure that you check it with the Holy Spirit inside of you. Check it with the Bible. And then realize that God will usually speak to you in other ways besides the dreams. Don't just focus on those. I hope that helps. And I'm not sure I really answered your question much other than giving my personal experience. Thanks for asking, Rick. God bless you. Have a great day.